Elon Musk wants Tesla to be seen as much more than an electric car company. On 20th of August, Tesla AI Day, the CEO described Tesla as a company with deep AI activity in hardware on the inference level and the training level. This can be used down the line for applications beyond self-driving cars, including a humanoid robot that Tesla is apparently building. When Tesla talks about using its advanced technology in applications outside of cars, we didn't think he was talking about robot slaves. And that's not an exaggeration. CEO Elon Musk envisions a world in which the human drudgery like grocery shopping, the work that people least like to do, can be taken over by humanoid robots like the Tesla bot. The bot is 5 feet 8 inches tall, 125 pounds, it can deadlift 150 pounds, and it walks at 5 miles per hour and has a screen for a head that displays important information. It's intended to be friendly, of course, and navigate a world built for humans, says Musk. We're setting it such that the mechanical and physical level you can run away from it and most likely overpower it. <laughs> because everyone's definitely afraid of getting beat up by a robot that's had enough, right? The bot, a prototype which is expected for next year, is being proposed as a non-automotive robotic use case for the company's work on neutral networks and its Dojo Advanced Supercomputer. Musk did not share whether the Tesla bot would be able to dance. Tesla director Ganesh Venkataraman unveiled Tesla's computer chip, designed and built entirely in-house, that the company's using to run the supercomputer Dojo. Much of Tesla's AI architecture is dependent on Dojo, the neural network training computer that Musk says will be able to process vast amounts of camera imaging data four times faster than other computing systems. The idea is that the Dojo-trained AI software will be pushed out to Tesla customers via over-the-air updates. The chip that Tesla revealed on Thursday is called D1, and it contains a 7NM technology. Then Katarataman proudly held up the chip that he said has GPU-level compute with GPU connectivity and twice the I.O. bandwidth of the state-of-the-art networking switch chips that are out there today and are supposed to be the gold standard. He walked through the technicalities of the chip, explaining that Tesla wanted to own as much of its own tech stack as possible to avoid any bottlenecks. Tesla introduced a next-gen computer chip last year produced by Samsung, but they haven't been able to escape the global chip shortage that has rocked the auto industry for months. To survive the shortage, Musk said during an earnings call this summer that the company had been forced to rewrite some vehicle software after having to substitute alternate chips. Then Kataradaman also revealed a training tile that integrates multiple chips to get higher bandwidth and an incredible computing power of 9 petaflops per tile and 36 terabytes per second of bandwidth. Together, the training files compose the Dojo supercomputer. Many of the speakers at the AI Day event noted that Dojo will not be just a tech for Tesla's full-serve driving system. It's definitely impressive, an advanced driver assistance system that also is definitely not yet fully self-driving or autonomous. The powerful supercomputer is built with multiple aspects, such as the stimulation architecture, and the company hopes to expand to be universal and even open up to other automakers and tech companies. This is not intended to be just limited to Tesla, says Musk. Those of you who've seen the full self-driving beta can appreciate the rate at which Tesla NeuralNet is learning to drive. And this is a particular application of AI, but I think there's more applications down the road that will make sense. Musk said Dojo is expected to be operational next year, at which point we can expect to talk about how this tech can be applied to many other use cases. Tesla's head of AI, Andrzej Kaparthy, described Tesla's architecture as building an animal from the ground up that moves around, senses its environment, and acts intelligently and autonomously based on what it sees. 
Karpathy illustrated how Tesla's neural networks have developed over time and how now the visual cortex of the car, which is essentially the first part of the car's brain that processes visual information, is designed in tandem with the broader neural network architecture so that information flows into the system more intelligently. The two main problems that Tesla is working on solving with its computer vision architecture are temporary occlusions, like cars at a busy intersection blocking the autopilot's view of the road beyond, or signs and markings that appear earlier in the road, like if a sign is 100 meters back and it says the lanes will merge, the computer once upon a time had trouble remembering that by the time it got to the point that the lanes did merge. To solve this for Tesla, Tesla engineers fell back on a spatial recurring network video module, where different aspects of the module keep track of different aspects of the road and form a space-based, time-based queue, both of which create a cache of data that the model can refer back to when trying to make a prediction about the road. The company flexed its over 1,000-person manual data labeling team and walked the audience through how Tesla auto-labels certain clips many of which are pulled from Tesla's fleet on the road, in order to be able to label at scale. And with all of this real-world info, the AI team then uses incredible simulation, creating a video game with autopilot as the player. The simulations help particularly with data that's difficult to source or label, or if it's in a closed loop. The National Highway Transportation and Safety Administration earlier this week said they would open a preliminary investigation into autopilot following 11 incidents in which a Tesla crashed into parked emergency vehicles. A few days later, two U.S. Democratic senators called on the FTC or Federal Trade Commission to investigate Tesla's marketing and communication claims around autopilot and full self-driving capabilities. Tesla currently offers what it calls full self-driving capability as an add-on for new vehicles. The $10,000 package lets the car automatically change lanes, navigate on highways, move into parking spots, and emerge from a parking spot to arrive beside the driver. Pretty amazing. The Tesla website says later, the package will also include the ability for a Tesla to automatically steer on city streets. Tesla released the Beta 9 version of full self-driving to lots of fanfare in July, rolling out the full suite of features to a few thousand drivers. But if Tesla wants to keep this feature in its cars, it will have to get the tech up to a higher standard. And that's where Tesla AI Day comes in. We basically want to encourage anyone who's interested in solving real-world AI problems at either the hardware or software level to join Tesla or consider joining Tesla, says Elon Musk. Hey, I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed the video. And if you did, destroy that like button for me. Get me that YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to know more about mind-blowing supercars or Tesla news, click on the exclusive playlist on the Watch Next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another mind-blowing video.